Namaskara namaste namaskaram my name is rahul and welcome to nature travelers so this video is like a continuation of my previous video so if you guys haven't watched it i request you to watch that and then come back here so in my previous video i had said that my first ever trek uh, was to kudramuk so since it was unsuccessful i wanted to go there again so we made the plan that uh, this time uh, i mean uh, the first day will be in chikmangalore and the, the day two we'll go to kudramuk and do the kudramuk trek so when we made the plan uh, the weather was fine it stopped raining and uh, the trek was open but when we reached there uh, you know uh, everything became the opposite so the rain started and the forest department closed down the trek so we were definitely uh, disappointed because the main part of the trip was the kudramuk trek in fact i was so excited for this so when we got to know that it's closed we all were very disappointed uh, but uh, the homestay guys you know they planned an alternative trek for us a short trek called as to a place called Bavikonda. I was uh, honestly not so happy about it because I was only thinking about the Kudremukh peak trek. Uh, but the Bavikonda trek turned out to be really interesting, exciting and it was one hell of a trek. And there were so many leeches than we found in uh, day one in Chikmangalore. So many leeches. So this video is all about the Bavikonda trek. I think enough of my lecture. Uh, you guys enjoy the video. I'll be right back. Kudremuka is a mountain range and name of a peak located in Chikmangalur district of Karnataka. It is also the name of a small hill station and a mining town situated near the mountain about 20 km from Kalsa. The name Kudre Mukha literally means horse face and refers to a particular picturesque view of a side of a mountain that resembles a horse's face. That is how this place got the name as Kudre Mukha. It is also referred to as Samse Parvata historically since it was approached from Samse village. One more interesting thing is that Kudre Mukha is Karnataka's second highest peak after Mulangi. The nearest international airport here is at Mangalore which is at a distance of around 99 km from here. So our homestay was actually located in a place called as Samse. We went in our own transportation till the main road and from there a jeep was sent to us by the homestay guys. The road we used to reach homestay was a real off-road path and only off-road vehicles can be used over there. It is not suggested to take normal vehicles in that path.
this is the homestay we stayed over there and uh, the opposite view of the homestay was so breathtaking we could see western ghats in its very best beauty just right opposite to the homestay This is how the interior of the homestay looked. Uh, it was quite a comfortable stay for us with uh, very good food as well. So here we are beginning the trek to Babikonda Hills. Uh, honestly, I'm disappointed because you know, I wanted to trek to Pudramukh Peak, but uh, you know, we can't help it due to heavy rain. You know, it's not possible. To is at its best here i would definitely recommend this homestay to you guys uh, though we didn't stay here for a night still i'm sure that you know, it's going to be a very good experience here uh, it's at a very big height uh, so i'll give all the details of the um, homestay in the description you can take that uh, Yes, that's true. <laughs> I would definitely suggest everyone to go for trekking at least once in a year because you know that's a very different experience. Oh my god, it's raining. We've already started encountering with lasers. 
Many people have found liquid on their shoes. Hey, bada loko. Loko kadi lil tagi re. Hey, illi on jese loko. Hey, kadi agala. Ha, bidi bidi hoy toy. Rakta ne mandu kya? Holy shit. Illi. Le le. Tak tak. Mano ye year one year one. Ye aita ka data musharo. Oh my god, my shoes are already wet. Okay. Hey, careful, careful, Mitsuga. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, no, no, hey, hey! Hold, hold. Hey, hey! Wait! Go, go! Cross this one. Bye bye, baby. I'm leaving. That's a that's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's continue. This trek is one among those non-commercial treks which is available in the Kudremukh region. Though Kudremukh is famous for the Kudremukh trek, uh, this trek is uh, very unexplored and uh, non-commercial as well. At the same time, this is also a short trek as compared to the Kudremukh peak. निकालें दे दे तरुण निकालें दे जल्दी
surprising fact is that he's 70 years old. is a little bit steepy. I won't say it's very tough, but it's a little bit steepy. So what makes it difficult is, uh, you know, when you trek in rainy season, it gets very slippery. Would suggest you to come in shoes which has very good grip. Yeah, baby, come on. We have now entered into a dense forest kind of place. There is a stream flowing, lots of leeches on my shoe, lots of leeches. Let me show you. Here is the stream. Just take a look at this jungle. A 360 degree view. Here you go. Woo. Yeah, baby.
the most beautiful and interesting part of this trek is that most of the trekking here is done amidst the open face of the mountains. some cows grazing over there I'm really not sure how they got over there <laughs> very surprising far away I can see cows sorry cows I'm sorry <laughs> Thank you.
This is the stunning view of the Western Ghats we've got when we reach the top of the mountains. The highest point on this trek is where we can see the rocks lying on top of each other as a marking that we are at the highest point of this trek. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If yes, do consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video and subscribing the channel as well. So until I come back with a new video and a new adventure, this is Rahul signing out of Nature Travels. Bye bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy.